All right, guys. Got the 8N Ford done. She's out there for sale. Got the little Colorado. We are still we're debating what to do with this thing. It's going to cost a de you know a motor anywhere is two grand. Uh, the wiring harness that I need to do a LS swap, I found it is fifteen hundred, sixteen hundred bucks. So it's going to be the same money either way you go. So I may put this thing up for sale and just cut my ties. I don't know. <clears throat> I like the little truck. I'd like to do it. But anyway, today we are going to try and do something with this mess. I've been unable to find anybody to do anything with my wiring. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make it look as good as I can on top of the engine. And all this excess, I'm just going to put on top of the bell housing, on top of the transmission down there. Zip tie it all up, keep it away from the heat and all that. So I can't find anybody to shorten my harness like I want done. So we're just going to have to, going to, have to do the best we can do here. But that's what we're down to. We got the fuel tank done and, and uh, got the headlights almost done. Got the brakes all done. So we need to get the wiring sorted, get the fans hooked up, and uh, get the power steering valve adjusted. And then we are gonna be ready to drive it and see if the transmission's okay. And uh, then it's to the muffler shop if the transmission's good. So I don't know how long it's gonna take to complete this video. It's Saturday the uh, 24th maybe. So uh, we'll uh, we'll make a little progress, and then we'll come back and see what kind of mess I've made. Well, we got a little work done this weekend. We got the uh, choke wired up. Got all the wiring stuff down behind the bell housing. <clears throat> My uh, temperature sender, I got an adapter, and I broke it. So I had to go get another one today. Spent most of the day running for parts. It's Saturday, yeah, Sunday now. So I got to get a sender tomorrow. I took the one out of the parts car, but it's too big. I need a eighth inch MPT. So I got some wiring run and hid. And uh, see, that looks a whole lot better. I'm going to raise the box up, see if I can get that to stuff down under there a little better. This is my tack wire, i got to hook it up, so hopefully the tack will work. And we've been working on this, if I can fish it up out of here. Dakota Digital Fan Controller. Working on wiring that up. So uh, we cut the plug off the alternator. So we're going to run. This will be constant battery feed to here. And of course, it has ground and it has the blue sensor wire, a green sensor wire. So we've got sensor hooked up and we've got the one is to the sensor over there. It's not hooked up yet. And the other one is the wire that goes inside the car for the gauge. So we have ground, battery power. Uh, this is what the alternator plug is going to be, battery power. And when the red wire goes around there, I tied it in with the choke. So when I do convert this to fuel injection, I can uh, cut two, maybe three wires and pull all this harness out of here because the fuel injection will run my fans. I won't need this anymore. So uh, got to run two wires to the two relays. That's where I'm stumped at. I can figure out a good place to good place to put my relays I don't you know I could bore right there's a handy place but you know I don't want them up there in everybody's face but I don't know I may end up going that route anyway I'll think it over so we're getting closer finish getting the fans wired up the sensor in check all my hoses fill it with coolant put fuel in it let the fuel pump run pump fuel through the line before I hook the line to the carburetor, put a filter and everything on it, fire it up, adjust the power steering control valve, hook the slave cylinder back up, the power steering slave ram, 
and uh, she's ready to go for a drive. We'll test some rain this week, so I don't know how much I'm gonna get done this week. But anyway, I guess the next video it'll be on the ground and pulling out of the shop. We hope we already know it runs if you've watched all my videos, and I encourage you to watch them all, not just the Corvette videos. And uh, that way you can learn a little something about something. I've been debating what to do with this stupid red hose. I think I'm gonna put split loom over it. That'd be the easiest way to make it black. I was thinking about going over with a marker or something. She looks retarded. But I think I'm going to put a uh, split loom over it. I think that'll work just fine. Anyway, like, follow, share, uh, subscribe, tell everybody about it, watch all my videos. I got a couple of videos that's got a lot of views, but I got a lot of videos that don't, so watch them all help me out. I'm trying to grow the channel before I lose my eyesight and uh, bring y'all some more projects if we can ever get to get uh, monetized got the tractor out there for sale and the, still in the planning and decision making on the Colorado probably gonna end up the LS I hate to spend that kind of money but it's such such a better motor you hate to hate to put the, the five-cylinder in it and have it fail you know the, the LS probably a better way to go anyway that's a uh, name of that tune Thanks for watching.